Okay guys, so as you've probably heard me mention a few times now, uh, this is the ambulance that I'm going to put on the uh, World War I uh, field dressing station dyer. Um, you will know that the, the model Ford T um, seems to be a bit small in scale and I'm hoping that this one will do better. So as you can see this is 172nd and it's from Roden. Um, the other nice thing about this is that the markings on this are for a British ambulance. I think they were first introduced in 1915. So let's have a look at the uh, back of the box. So there you go guys. Um, it uh, basically says there that uh, medical unit, um, what does that say, gentle Ida, British Red Cross, 1915-1916. So that is the only decal option I think you get for this kit. If we just have a quick look inside. So you get two sprues um, and as you can see quite a bit of flash around some of the parts. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Rodin as I've mentioned before because I love their kits but their plastic isn't the best. Some of their thinner parts um, can be quite brittle um, when you're trying to take them off and they'll just snap um, you know with any pressure on the um, on the sprue points so you have to be uh, really careful here we have the road wheels the nice thing about these is that um, the spokes on them look really nice on the model t um, they were like a, a flat plank spoke so i'm not sure whether that's quite correct nice little detail on the seat pads there and obviously that's the bonnet um, we've got the lamps and the crank handle and we've got the um, stretchers you'll see that one's missing that's because I took it off to see how it compared to the um, 3D scale figures and it wasn't too bad at all the um, 3D scale figure stretchers are the poles at the end at, this, at these ends were much longer so all you need to do is trim those uh, sorry on the figures not these and you've got the right size the actual fabric bit is is exactly the same size so with the instructions we've got um, the sprue tree which uh, helps us locate um, items and then we got the various steps it doesn't look uh, too convoluted to build at all um, which is which is fine um, with me being at the point where the sandbag pillars uh, have been completed um, I think I can crack on with this build one of the things I want to try and do is a really nice job of the figures because I think if you can do that at the to this scale or at any scale for that matter it really makes a diorama pop so I'm going to try my best on these figures and again there's the um, decal colour call out for the vehicle on the uh, back sheet so there you go guys I'm going to crack on with this um, how many uh, updates I'm going to do I don't know um, I may do an update once I've finished the build and then <clears throat> with some like small videos in in between to show the progress uh, or any issues i come across and then another video on the painting and weathering of it uh, similar to what i've done to the, with the um airfix uh, panzer IV. right tomorrow's monday uh, it's about nine o'clock here uh, sunday night so i've got about an hour and a half of hobbying that i can get on with so Look after yourselves and um, I hope you had a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon.